Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings, and we generally like to talk a load of bollocks about tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a push your luck game, which is funnily enough called Push. And in this game, you'll be drawing cards out of a deck, you'll be putting them into three rows, hoping that you don't bust your load all over the table, which will then allow you to win the game. Not like dump your load all over the table, but yeah, just go and bust, right? So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules. We'll be telling you what we do like, what we don't like. Then we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not push is worth your time and bother today and in the future. So remember, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Hit the like button, all that YouTube bullshit. See you after this. Bollocks. So push, how do you play this game? So push is a push your luck card game, right? There's 120 cards in the deck and you'll see each card has got a number and a color on them. There's also a couple of other cards, one that has a die symbol on it and one has like a switcheroo type symbol on it. You're going to shuffle the deck up and then player who sat down last, I don't know if they're talking about on a B day or something, but the player who sat down last will draw a card from the deck and they'll place it in one of three imaginary columns in front of them, right? There's a couple of caveats to this. You can't put the same color in the same column and you can't put the same number in the same column. Similarly, you can't put more than one die card in any column. If you draw a switcheroo card, then this has ramifications for the end of the round. You'll keep drawing cards, hoping that you don't bust any time you can stop, in which case you'll choose one of the three rows and you'll take all the cards into your hand. If there's a die card in that row, you roll the die and then you'll have to discard all of those colored cards from the cards that you got in front of you, right? If you go bust, you don't get to take any cards from the rows, but but the player to your left will choose a row and then all the other players will choose a row. If you drew one of those switcheroo type cards, then you will go anti-clockwise if you bust. So there's also the option to bank cards in this game. You'll take all of a certain colored number of cards that are in front of you, you'll turn them over. And this means that they are immune from being discarded when you roll the die, right? You'll go through the entire bloody deck. And then once the deck runs out, you'll take all the cards that you banked and all the cards that are in front of you at the end of the game. You'll add them all up and the player with the most points will be the winner of push. So what do we like about push? So the first thing that we really like about push is that it is a very, very simple push your luck game. And the fact that you can score points even when you aren't actually drawing the cards means that it might be the case that you might just want to bank the odd card now and again and rely on the other people screwing up, right? There's always one dickhead who thinks that they can keep drawing cards until the cows come home. So it's like a two layer game. You've got the push your luck element. How far do I want to go? Or you could just sit back, relax and watch everyone else's house get burnt to the ground. So the second thing that we we really like about this game is that it's got a random element as in the die roll yeah you can willfully put the die cards into a row hoping that the other player is going to pick those up and it will completely destroy their big purple column that has all these sixes and fours and all that sort of stuff in it however this may come back to bite you in the ass because it might be the case that you just push it like too far and then bust there is this sort of random unknown quantity that can work for you but at the same time work against you so what don't we like about push so the first thing that we don't like about it is there's 120 bloody cards in a deck, right? And if you're playing with maybe like two or three players, this game can sort of drag on just that little bit too much, yeah? How many does it play all together? Yes, yeah, so it plays out of six players. And if you're playing with six, there's a problem where it sort of takes a little while for your turn to come around. Okay, you are sort of investing in the game, hoping that the other player's going to bust. You also get to pick which raw card you want. But at lower player counts, it goes on for too long. And at higher player counts, you're just sort of sat there twiddling your thumbs for a bit too much, right? That's a minor quibble this one because it is a very very light and quick game as it is so the next thing that we don't really like about this game is that you've got to sort of add up all of your cards at the end of the game and that is a bit of a pain in the bum especially when you're playing with small kids it takes bloody ages you know they're going to get it wrong so you've got to go around and add up all the cards together i suppose you can sort of make it easier by dividing all the cards into sets of 10 and then adding that up but it's sort of like a bit of an anti-climax but at the same time i suppose there is that sort of hidden score mechanism so you're on a knife edge thinking have i done enough to win but you can generally tell who's won by the size of their stack right it's not always but this game can sometimes be a bit of an anti-climax because you can sort of see who's in the lead as you're going through a game right so to summarize is push worth your time or bother today and in the future 
So we're going to say, yes, we really, really enjoy this simple little push your luck game, right? It provides a new slant on an otherwise tired genre. It's got a nice gambling aspect, how far you're going to push it. You can stitch people up with those die cards. It's also got a random element with the die roll where sometimes it works for you, sometimes it works against you, right? It's quick enough to not lose your brain over, but then on occasion it can drag on for too long, right? But having said that, it really is a no brainer. It's cheap as chips. And I really enjoy playing this, especially with my younger children, right? So you go that is push remember if you know it and please consider subscribing to this channel hit the like button all that youtube bullshit see you next time